I have, I have not been getting as much pussy as I've said. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Gilly and Keeb's apology press conference. This guy is very funny. Shane Gillies. Let's go. <laughs> Looks very young here. <clears throat> Hello, friends, family, the boys, <laughs> the boys. media, <laughs> the boys. all my fans around the world. I know many of you think this is a time of celebration. With my fourth PGA victory just days behind me, it would seem as if the world is at my fingertips. But it is not. There's something I need to say. All right, so I'm trying to guess what he did. Uh, it's going to be some extramarital affair, at, I'm guessing. Or cheating, something like that. Cheating in the sport or cheating in real life. Or cheating uh, on his girl. Let's see. I have, I have not been getting as much pussy as I've said. <laughs> <laughs> I know that my public image has been defined by my love of pussy, but the truth is I barely get any. When I say I'm getting pussy, I'm usually practicing. Many of you have seen this picture of me at the strip club. This was not me. This is what I was doing that day. That picture at the strip club is actually my manager, Henry. <laughs> Chaz, come on, man. Henry's taking more pussy for me than anybody could ask. What's it like? Chaz, my fucking wife's here, man. <laughs> you made a hero. For a long time, I played into the rumor that Jessica Alba and I had sex. <clears throat> but what really happened that night in the hotel was this. Jessica texted me. She said, hey, I'm in room 402, and this hot tub feels a little empty. <laughs> to which I responded, I'm in room 506 watching Beetlejuice. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not every day that guys that look like me, average guys, are offered the top-notch primo box that I've been offered and turned down. <laughs> and for that, I apologize to all the fellas out there. I'm sorry I let you down. My sponsors, Under Armour, Rolex, and Ferrari have all dropped me, <laughs> claiming that my moral compass does not align with the values of the product. What? How <laughs> you come off with this? What? Moral values, you know. Dominantly under 5'8 customer. My first and now only sponsor, Dave's Lazy Lube, has decided to stick with me and believes <laughs> that deep down, I could always be the pussy hound that I claimed I was. Dave's lazy little stick with you, but not to you. To my wife, Tracy. She thought she married a winner, but it turns out I'm just a fucking normal guy who does pussy shit, like hangs out at home and stuff. <laughs> this guy's good. Do you think your long ball is going to be a problem on the narrow fairways at Augusta? Shut the fuck up, man. No, chill. I'm not going to play anything. To answer your question, I'll probably play great. I don't have any distractions at all. I just focused on this since I was eight years old and then I got so good at it and made millions of dollars. And then I married a beautiful woman and I'm fucking, I'm a loser for it. What? I would like to announce that I'm stepping away from the game. Because I want to spend time with the boys. Boys? Boys. boys. I want to be a better role model to them. <laughs> I want to do stuff they would think is cool. I want to stay. I want to kiss porn stars on the mouth in front of strangers at the Panera Bread. I want to get like a waitress or something pregnant. And then have to like just settle and give her a large amount of money out of court. And then one day, my Ill illegitimate boy is older. He can look back and be proud. He can be proud of his father. And Dave's lazy loop for when you got a whole lot of heart on, but not a lot of time. <laughs> oh 
Oh god. I can't believe that was, they actually did that. That I feel like that's more like uh satire, you know, just laughing at what athletes would normally do, you know, get someone pregnant, pay our car, that kind of stuff. And he's like, you know, being a good guy, doing what people would actually expect them to do. That was so good. That's absolutely brilliant. That's genius. Absolute genius. It kind of reminds me of Key and Pill a bit, a little bit, you know, with, with the sketches. You never know what they're going to do. But yeah, please let me know if there's any more stuff that uh, they've done. I'm going to check out some stuff. But yeah, let me know the ones you want to see. Or any other sketches uh, that you want me to check out from other uh, comedians. I'll do it. I like it. I love comedy so much. Hope you guys enjoy that. Make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.